All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember, you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sports Facts app from the Google Play or the App Store. Five-time Olympic gold medalist Elaine thompson Hero has entered the chat as she will open her season over 100 meters at this Saturday's Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon. Twitter time. Nick says, it's about to get serious now. Lauren, Fast Elaine is back. One any lover girl. Big machine. Swamp. The track season officially begins. Macario's dad. Yes, Lord, it's getting interesting. Seraphim. Oh, this is serious. This has gotten very serious. Lou, this is going to be an amazing weekend. Is it, Leighton Levy? Is it going to be an amazing weekend with Elaine entering the chat? I wouldn't expect too much. It's our opener. You know, she's probably still a little bit loaded and she's going up against athletes who probably had a couple of races in their legs already. I wouldn't expect too much. I think she's going to run well, but run fast, a different dynamic. I don't think, I'm not, personally, I'm not expecting too much from her. I'd, I'd rather see her run a couple of races first before I determine where she's going to go this season. But I think she's been training well, according to her agent. So. You know, we can expect a good performance, but will it be a winning one? That's a big question. Yeah, well, you can see how much the track and field fans love Elaine and they're Oh, excited. they love her to death. I mean, as I said, I love her too, and it's nice to see her back healthy and running again. So, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see her run at this meet and, of course, at the Grenada meet in on June 6th. Yeah, she has the ability, Leighton, to do the triple-double, so... Yeah, that's, that's going to be an option. It, it's going to be harder to do than she's ever had before, but um, it's possible. If Elaine comes out healthy and, you know, the, the way she looked in 2021 is close to that, she'll be hard to beat. Yeah, looking forward to that. Let's see what type of Elaine we're getting. Well, Jamaican artist Sishen Sia has been making the rounds on social media after she was pictured in the unreleased Adidas Jamaica football kit. So first of all, Leighton, love the look, love the kit. I definitely want to get one of it for myself. And then Shinsia, you know, dance hall and football. We always say music and football. Sports and culture, yeah, it goes well together. And I think this actually will benefit the JFF because if these these jerseys sell, these kids sell the way I think they will. You know, the the royalties will help Jamaica's football going forward because they'll so certainly have money to to do the things that they need to do, especially with the World Cup campaign coming up. Yeah. But I like I like the look of it, and I think it's going to be a very exciting kit for Jamaica to see Jamaica in, especially during the upcoming campaigns of the World Cup and the, the and of course the the World Cup campaigns ahead. Yeah, she looks so good. Are you going to get one, Leighton? Uh, of course, eventually I will get one. <laughs> have to get one. Yeah, it looks it looks really really good. Love it. All right. Well, the Universe boss, Chris Gale, he shared this on his Instagram while tagging the one Usain Bolt. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to come forth. Somebody's gonna come forth. I know me. <laughs> Listen. I love it. I love it. I, 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 I have mixed feelings about this because, you know, we've heard the government say the reasons why they didn't choose to, to bid for World Cup matches here. But look at the biggest icons that they've drawn for to be ambassadors for the World Cup. Chris Gale, Sean Paul, and Usain Bolt. Where are they from? Jamaica. So, you know, while I'm enjoying this banter between Chris and, and Usain, you know, it hurts me that, and I'm sure I'm not the only person, that we are not, don't have matches here because these are our, our ambassadors building at a competition that's not going to be held in this country at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. heartbreaking for, of course, the cricket-loving fans. Let's see what Bolt had to say now. He responded. Somebody check on Chris Gale. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying he's not okay. He's not okay, Leighton. Is know. he? Chris is fun. Listen, yes. man, Chris Gale is one of the most entertaining people. I mean, I'm not, even though that he's retired, you would think that he would probably go on to his personal life and do things. But he's still a very, very visible guy and he's, he's very entertaining and I'm enjoying 
this banter between him and Yusin a lot. You know, it's actually quite exciting. Yeah, full of fun. I remember the video. You saw the video, right? That was released leading up to the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, I was laughing my head off. Yeah, it was some. It, I think I'm trying to remember if it dropped on a Monday, but I remember it was just such a good way to start my day because. I got up and was looking, of course, at the news, saw it late, and, and I was like, wow, this is funny. This got to go on this Yeah, man, sure. Chris is always funny. I mean, he has a, a very, very, I mean, he has great wit, and he's, his timing, he should, he should have a career as a stand-up comedian because he's really good <laughs> at it. You know, and I think, I think what he's, he's doing is helping to bring eyes to the, to the World Cup. Given that, look, Chris gets a massive um, image, um, icon in India where uh, most of those eyes are going to be on the World Cup as well. And given what he's been doing, and along with Usain Bolt, who's also a massive global ambassador for anything, you know, I think it, it's going to do wonders for this World Cup. All right, just one more thing. Um, do you think he can win? Who? Chris? <laughs> <laughs> with what? The race. What race? Listen, there is no race. <laughs> <laughs> You're running against... Yeah, you see, Bolt might be a hundred years old. Chris Gill will never be able to beat him. <laughs> That's just the reality of it. And even even in um, you see, Bolt's um, how he is now, because you know he's not training and all these no. different things. He's just you know living, doing his ambassador work and everything. You think no chance? No, he still has speed in his legs. Huh? <laughs> Look, I remember talking to him last year about him growing a beard belly, and he said, "Listen, when he's working out, he says, why am I doing this sudden work?" But the speed is still there. I mean, even Bolt at 30% of what he used to be is faster than anybody else, you know, in that, peop that, that set of people. I mean, he's brought in Asafa, who might be a factor if Asafa is going to be joining, and of course, Johan Blake. So it's going to be interesting to see who comes forth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm looking forward because Chris Gale has, of course, excited me, and I want this race to happen, and I want to see who comes forth. That's what I want to see. Well, 23-time Grand Slam champion Sabrina Williams posted this. I'm ready to hit some balls again. Leighton, she's ready. Yeah, it all depends on... Are you ready to see her? Nah, listen, Serena has done everything she needs to do. 23 Grand Slam titles, she's earned a lot of money. If she's thinking about coming back to competitive tennis, you know, I'd, I'd advise against it. If you want to hit in your backyard with your husband or a couple of friends, I mean, Stephanie, Gra Stephanie Graf is retired and I'm sure she'd probably fly over and they can hit some balls in her, you know, on her private court. But going back on the circuit, I mean, as much as the circuit is not as exciting without her, I think, so you can get him back into competitive tennis is not is a bad idea. Yeah, and Leighton, something I'm so excited about, cricket. Yeah. In Jamaica. Yes. Starts tomorrow. Yeah, it starts tomorrow. I think it's going to be a, a, a should be a good series, Labor Day. Do you know, should... I was born on Labor Day in Trinidad, it's Labor Day, right? Really? Yeah, it's June 19, Labor Day in Trinidad. So I hear Labor Day and I'm like, hmm. Mm, yeah, but uh, look, people should turn out for this match tomorrow. We haven't had international cricket in a long, long time in, at Savannah Park. And one of the things is the South African team, as much as it's not as strong a team as it could be, similar to the West Indies, Correct. it'll be some good cricket. And I think people should turn out and support the match and support cricket. The cricket has pretty much died in Jamaica for the last few years. And I think it's, this is a good way to, re, to revitalize the sport in the country. And I think South Africa versus the West Indies is a good way to start. And tomorrow is day one, Leighton. It's a Thursday, but it's a holiday yeah. in Jamaica. Do you think, and I'm just going to compare it to what we saw at the JPL final, because to me that was massive. Yeah. Right, the turnout was massive for a JPL final. It's not even like a reggae boys game, right? So that speaks volumes. But do you think Sabine is going to get that sort of turnout tomorrow? I'm, I'm hopeful. I think there are a lot of genuine cricket fans who are starved for international cricket. And the quality of the teams, I think, will or should bring the fans out tomorrow. If you're a true fan of cricket, you should come out and watch the West Indies take on South Africa. Both teams are not at full strength, but they're still good enough to give you very entertaining cricket. Will you be at Sabina Park? I think I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really looking forward to that, of course, viewers. And, you know, Leighton, to me, I want to see what Brandon King does. He's at home, as well as all the Jamaican players. One of the things we always say is home crowd, home crowd advantage. You know, that, that plays a big role in your confidence, especially because if you grow up playing at Savannah Park and then yeah. you finally get to play this match yeah. against um, your people, I think it's a big Do you know who I'm excited to see? Fabian Allen.
I'm excited to see Shamar Joseph. Yeah, well, he too, but <laughs> Fabian Allen for me is one of the most dynamic all-rounders out there. Yeah. And I think this is an opportunity for him to really come to the fore and show the, the Jamaican fans what he's capable of. And of course, Shamar Joseph is certainly fast, I mean, really fast I bowling. want to see that in real. Yeah, Rio. and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be exciting cricket. And I think if, if the pitches are true, the way, the way um, Nicholas said that look, it looks, and it might favor some of the spinners, we're going to see some good cricket. Um, big hits, you know, fantastic fielding, you know, perfect one day, I mean, T20 internationals. Yeah. You know, so, you know, people All should right. come out. Yeah, well, Leighton, I'll see you there tomorrow, despite the holiday, and viewers, um, of course, tomorrow is a holiday in Jamaica, Labor Day, but I'll be back on Friday. Yeah. So I'll see you then. Have a beautiful evening, and you keep it locked to Sports Max because and we... And hi, Inez, from St. Martin. Yeah, keep it locked to Sports Max because we have all the content just for you. Bye.